This is My Two Cents with Charles McNamara, looking at some safety news around the world. Enjoy. Madison Avenue in Midtown. The fire is out, but cell phone video shows the flames and black smoke that was pouring from the building. I went to Susan Porter, Jim Dolan, live at the scene with the breaking news. Jim. Well, Dave, first of all, it's pouring out here, so it's hard to believe a fire could get started in any event, but it did today in a 40-story building uh, here at Madison and 42nd Street, and folks who were inside had to take the stairway to get out, and now they're getting a long weekend because the whole building had to be evacuated. The uh, fire started in the exterior of this building at 42nd and Madison, right above the second floor. Most witnesses say it started in the middle of some holiday decorations on the outside that covered the entrance to the building on Madison Avenue. And the fire was bad, but the thick, choking black column of smoke was the real problem. The smoke got inside the building, even inside the stairwells, which made it harder for people trying to get out. Take a look at what it looks like after the fire, though. You can see how it just torched through the decorations and burned up the ceiling over the entrance to the building. Office workers, again, had to take the stairs when the building was evacuated. So in 2018, Madison Avenue had a pretty nasty fire in front of one of their major properties due to holiday decorations. Let's take a look. So there were large Christmas decorations in front of a high-rise property in the front vestibule area, which erupted into flames around 10.30 a.m. on Madison Avenue. The garland hung from in front of the facade entrance. After investigation, possible cause was due to some defective uh, bulbs and electrical wiring. It was hung right in front of the building's entrance. It was evacuated as a precaution, but the neighboring building started to panic as they saw hundreds of people being evacuated and exiting the property. No injuries were reported, thankfully, and there was only minimal property damage to the building. Uh, we talk about some lessons learned, proper decorations, and flame proofing. Around the holiday season, no one wants to be a Grinch, but it's something that we do need to consider. Uh, you want to make sure that you stage portable fire extinguishers in the proper areas, uh, especially around the holidays. Evacuations. If for some reason you're at work and you do have an evacuation, you want to make sure that you are away from the property. Go to the closest assembly area because first responders will be coming in. Um, New York City, we love to watch things going on, but take control, move people out of the way, get them out of danger, and train them. You will respond to how you train. Stay safe, everyone. This is just my two cents. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.